Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Morse. Today it's the 13th of June and we've got clutch number nine that's arrived. Venus, which is our pastel twilight that gave us three beautiful um, hatchlings last year. She's given us a clutch. So let's have a look and see what she's given us. And we put her to, let's just show the daddy. First time daddy, uh, he's a lesser spot nose, which was sold to us as a female. Turned out that he was a male, Bambi. And there's the daddy. He's actually in his hide. So there he is, beautiful looking animal. We thought it was a girl, it turned out to be a boy. So we've put him to Venus, who is a um, spot nose pastel cinnamon. Am I right, Jack? Yeah. And that's called a pastel twilight, isn't it? Am I right? So let's have a look and see what she's given us. Now what we're finding is with the first time boys, we are getting quite a few slugs. And I suspect that she's sitting on a few slugs, Jack, which is a bit of an issue for us. But there she is. Not a big towering clutch of eggs, so I suspect that we could have some more slugs here. But let's have a little look and see what she's given us. There we go, Jared. Right, we'll just hold her there. Okay, come on, girl. Come on, darling. Let's have a look at you. There she is. Well, she's given us at least one good egg. There we go. What have we Only got one. One good egg? Oh, that's, that's sad. How many? What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slugs and one good egg. Right, so there would have been a clutch of eight, but we've just got the one. So, let's uh, candle that one. So I think it's um, first time boy. Spot nose to spot nose always has issues as well, isn't it, Chad, with fertility and possible issues. So we'll see whether we've got uh, any veins in this one. But um, one egg, that looks good, Jared. So we'll just carefully remove that from the paper. I like to try and get rid of the paper if I can. And let's put that in the center, and then I'll just put a plastic support just to keep it supported. So, I won't do anything there. Okay. You're like wedge it. Wedge it in there. Okay. Right, so we've got the torch, Josh. Should we candle it and see whether there's anything in it? Yep. I'll just switch the light off. Yeah, there's veins. Have we got veins in it? Yeah. There's are they strong veins? How strong are they, Jared? Single. And are, are we putting it in the right position? Yeah, leave it as it lays. Leave it as it lays? Okay, so we've got one chance of a power ball here. <laughs> so that's what we're aiming for in the project, which is a spot nose to spot nose, which could also have pastel, and it could also have lesser, uh, lesser in there. Well, well, and cinnamon. And cinnamon. So there could be, could be a very interesting uh, outcome. I'll just get the light back on. So we could get a pastel cinnamon lesser power ball. Power ball, which would be awesome. I'm um, just uh, such a shame that um, the fertility wasn't quite right there Jared to get that many slugs we need to consider whether we use first time boys because it could actually I think it might have something to do with temperatures as well you think so yeah yeah it's interesting because all the established boys are giving us fertile clutches the new boys are giving us slugs and I wonder whether we're putting the new boys in too early even though they're over a year old whether they're firing blanks because it seems to be inconsistent that we're getting no, it's not on, right? um, mature. Is it on? There we go. All right, we'll put that into the incubator. So that's clutch number nine. And we've got a couple more to come yet, haven't we, Jad? Yeah. Probably worth mentioning as well, off camera, you felt to make sure she was empty, right? Um, actually, I haven't. You want to check her, Jad? Just probably check her. She was in an empty position, but we'll check. Yeah. Yeah, she's empty. She's empty. Right. Okay. There we go. 
There we go. Right, so let's um, get rid of the slugs. That is the maximum number of slugs I've ever seen out of clutch jack. Have you ever seen, is it seven? One, two, seven. three, four, five, six, seven. She put so much effort into that. It's a shame, isn't it? Mm. Right, okay. Let's just uh, slip that back. Let's nice. get that good clean before she goes back in. Now, the other thing we, I wanted to do, Jared, was I wanted to, um, Peaches has got, um, to size now, we're going to move her up. So, Peaches, I think, is in, where is she? I forgot where she is now. Oh, there's, there she is. She's 850 grams now. Beautiful animal. So, she's ready to move up to a new home. So, let's just move her up, give her some space to grow. So, she is a Pastel Fire Enchi Calico. And uh, a beautiful animal, isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. Let's put her in there. To a new home. There you go, girl. Enjoy your new home. That's wonderful. So I think that's about it for today. We'll uh, let you know. Um, the other two that we're waiting to go is, I think, just to say these Jupiter. Come have a look at Jupiter, Jared. She's supposed to give us a clutch in the next week or so. And she looks like she's preparing to do that. So, fingers crossed. Now we put um, Joker to her, which is our established male. Now it'd be interesting, if she produces a perfect clutch, and we know that we've got a, a five-year-old male that's a proven breeder, next year's strategy might be to use more of our proven breeders rather than gamble with first-time breeders, because I do think that's got something to do with it, Jared. Let's just check the other one, which is our beautiful banana spider. Now she is Cleo. I think she could lay before Jupiter because she's looking, look how big she is as well. So she's due to lay in the next week or so as well. She also appears to want to come out, which is interesting. Back you go, Dan, back you go. So they're the two that we're expecting, hopefully, to go for us shortly. And uh, I hope everyone's uh, enjoying this lovely weather and we shall catch you next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.